What's up internet? This is my first tutorial video that I have ever done. Um, and I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna talk about my Line 6 Helix, Helix patch that I used for uh, the Neo Soul guitar playthrough video that I did um, a while back. Um, I haven't seen any tutorials on how to use the gates on the Line 6 Helix, like, to get this sort of guitar tone. So, um, I figured I'd throw it out there and see what you guys thought about it. I don't know how After the Burial gets that choppy tone. They probably did something in the studio, or maybe Axe Effects or whatever that they used had similar effects at, as the hard gates that are on this Line 6 Helix. So, in this video, I'm gonna go over the patch, I'm gonna go over the tones and the effects that I used and uh, just kind of show you the process and the thinking behind the way I made the patch so that uh, hopefully when you download this patch and it sounds completely wrong and different than how it sounds through YouTube right now you guys will be able to tweak it to get that sound because in my experience custom tone I mean you change guitars and it's just like a new, it's a new patch and it doesn't sound anything like it so um, here, here's what the patch sounds like on the choppy snapshot for that, that main riff in Neo Soul. Right, so that's the, uh, that's the main riff, that's what we're after, so, um, I'll just jump straight in and, uh, talk about the amp model and start by saying this is an 8-string guitar but it's also tuned a lot lower than a normal 8-string guitar and it has a little bit longer of a scale I think most most 8-strings are probably 27 inches this is 28 uh, and 5 8 scale and that helps with tuning it down to the after the burial tuning which is a low C sharp so lower than that's like F sharp is like the standard 8-string tuning this is like C sharp, you know, lower. Um, and I'm also using an 80 gauge string on the lowest, and I have an EMG active 808 pickup, I think. So if you use an eight, you know, an EMG with your eight string, there's a good chance that you'll have a pretty similar sound when you pop open the, the custom tone or whatever. Um, that, that being said, this amp model, I've got a lot of the bass cut out, a lot of the mids cranked, uh, and the treble and the presence up pretty high. The master's pretty low, the sag's a little bit lower, and then the resonance is down pretty far. I've got the Tube Screamer, the 808, with the gain really low, uh, the tone pretty high because uh, it just helps with clarity, and I don't want a lot of bass in my tone anyway, so this is kind of just helping cut and give you that, you know, give you that feel, you know, the 808s, they're great. Um, for the cab model, I just kind of went through and this is just kind of what sounded the most clear with this guitar and this amp, so uh, you can change that if you want, I think it sounds okay. I mean, it does the job. Um, I have been dabbling with impulse responses, but a lot of those haven't really they haven't really worked out with this tone that I'm trying to get. They're just, they're too fat sounding, which, you, you know, is normally good, but with with this super low tuning, you, you kind of don't want it to be that fat or else it won't be clear. Um, and then I've also got this EQ block at the very end of my chain, which is cutting a little bit of low end, and I've got 534 hertz boosted about 4 dB. Which, what that does is, I'll just show you. It just kind of clears things up a little bit more. I, I think the mid-range is like super low. I think it's around 500 hertz on this tuning, so. This is without it. And then with it. So with that low, low string special. Originally in the Neo Soul video, I actually did a little bit of post-EQ, 
um, and I boosted those hertz just a little bit and cut a little bit of the low end. Um, and I didn't actually have this EQ block down, so that's why I put the EQ Q block down, just to kind of, you know, make it sound more like it was in the video. So now let's just start talking about these hard gates. Um, I don't know where you can find a real version of them. I got a question in my Neo Soul YouTube video uh, about where you could go to buy the, the real version of it, and, and the answer is I don't think there's a real version of it. I'm pretty sure Line 6 just kind of made this for the Line 6 Helix, and I know they have a hard gate on their pod stuff as well. Um, you may be able to use like an MXR smart gate or something that might do something similar, but I don't, I don't really know. So let's go to the compressor, and I'll just play you the note and I'll show you why you want this compressor on here. It's really just for sustain, because without it, this is, this is what happens. So it cuts the note off pretty quick and you don't have any sustain, but with it, I'll let it cut out real quick. I'll let it cut out with, out the compressor on and then I'll turn the compressor on and it'll bump it up and you'll start hearing the guitar again. So check it out. So there's that, that's what we use that for. All right, cool, so that's the tone. Um, I'll start talking about the clean snapshot now, which is what I use for the intro. Uh, there's an intro snapshot in there, but that's not right. I don't know what I was using that for. I'm just using a Fender Twin cat, uh, amp. You can EQ that however you want, using the same cab. I leave the compressor on and then I'm using this delay and a reverb. And the delay, I'm not really sure how After the Burial got the tone that they got. They might have used like two delays or they might have had some other special delay, I don't really know. Um, but this is what it sounds like and it's, it's fairly close, it's not exact, but... So, It'll get the job done. And then I just got like a lot of reverb, a lot of K reverb. And that's what that sounds like. Alright guys, so I will upload this to Line 6 custom tone and put a link in the description below, as well as the link for the original Neo Soul playthrough video, so you guys can go and check that out. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think and let me know if there's anything that you guys want me to do a tutorial over. I can give it a shot. And uh, also, go ahead and go to my uh, YouTube channel and check out my other videos. And uh, keep a lookout for more Helix tutorials or gear tutorials. I'm not really sure yet. I might just kind of dabble with whatever. So cool, like and subscribe.